Why are you so stressed? Just take it easy. Oh, I have been there where you are. Work is stressful, but you'll get used to it. If you're struggling with your spouse, just end it. Why go through all this stress? We hear these statements all the time because stress is subjective. The point is people who are already stressed don't need advice. If anything, they are looking for acknowledgement, comfort, support, and someone to confide in. That is what people are looking for when they are stressed. Stress is our body's response to pressure. The body's autonomic nervous system controls your heart rate, breathing, vision changes, and more and more and more. We all go through different stressful situations in life. Everyone reacts differently when they are stressed. Some get easily agitated, some get frustrated, some get overwhelmed, and some just shut down completely. The most interesting thing about stress, which I'm sure a lot of people have experienced, is overthinking, which is my focus today. How many times do we assume about what other people are thinking of us? Or at times just overthink on what may happen. It's not happening, but may happen. Or what if this happens or what if that happens? What happens when you're stressed out? Let's talk about it. Because now you're already stressed out. What happens to our body? You go through aches and pain, especially the shoulder. I can totally talk about it because I've noticed my shoulder getting so stiff that it's unbearable sometimes. Palpitations, chest pain. You get exhausted, feeling lethargic, doing nothing. You go through insomnia, no sleep for hours and hours and hours. There is a spike in your blood pressure, even though you don't have anything, a problem with your blood pressure. You feel like your stomach is on fire or you develop some kind of digestive problem, GI issue. So let's discuss ways to calm you down faster. Number one biggest thing that I can say is breathing. Seems like the most natural thing in the world. The upper chest breathing works best when you're stressed. 478 breathing technique. Breathe in for four seconds, hold your breath for seven seconds, and exhale for eight seconds. Repeat, repeat, repeat at least three times, and it works wonders. I can only say that. Number two, shut your eyes and count to 10 slowly or count backwards. It really works. This is great distraction. It helps you forget what's troubling you because it's, it's a distraction. Number three, talk to someone you trust. Connecting with others can help us cope with stress and become more resilient. This can help you gain new insight into the situation that's causing the problem. Number four and my favorite, start journaling. This is my favorite favorite and it's favorite because it's very effective method start with writing down the things you're grateful for journaling helps you prioritize problems fear and concern you're able to express your fears and frustration it also encourages self-confidence journaling is all about your emotions your mindset and the aim is to find that focus. Number five, accept that you can't control everything. Remind yourself that you can change what has already happened in your life, but you can find ways to let go of worry about situations you have no control over. Whether the pain is physical or emotional, we all have experiences of being hurt. What separates us though is how we deal with the pain. It's not easy, it's doable, it's all a matter of trying. End of the day, it's all about mind of a matter. Our brain responds to what the mind tells us. Brain chemically informs our body what to do. Remember, taking one day at a time, it's not easy. 
one day at a time. That's all you can do with that. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay safe. Keep watching Shermina's channel.